It's no secret that Excel has the capability to do hundreds if not thousands of formulas and computations at any given time. Ranging from basic arithmetic or really complex statistical functions. But in this video, we're going to be talking about none of those. We're going to go back to basics and we're going to learn how to subtract in Excel. For young professionals, these basic skills might mean landing the job, getting that promotion, or even just having an easier time at work. Excel doesn't have an equals minus function per se, but we're gonna learn three different methods on how we can subtract values in Excel. First method is super basic, will be basically using Excel as a notepad. Excel operations can be seen as a sort of math equation. A basic math equation usually looks something like this. We have your constants, an operator, and an equation wouldn't be an equation if there's no equal symbol. Same thing goes for Excel formulas except backwards. To tell Excel that, hey, I want you to crunch this number for me, I would like you to crunch those numbers again. Crunch. We select a cell and type in the equal symbol. Everything that we input after this equal symbol will be picked up by Excel as part of a function. So we're going to go ahead and click on a cell. Type in equals, enter a value or a constant, then your subtraction operator, which is your dash. Then another constant you want to subtract your initial value by, then hit enter and there you go. This is the simplest way of subtracting in Excel, or even any other simple arithmetic for that matter. You can do this with addition, multiplication, and division. The second method of subtraction allows you to automate things a little bit, which is a great gateway to Excel greatness. The way Excel works is that each cell acts like coordinates, kind of like a game of Battleship, so we can direct the functions to pick up the values in the cells or coordinates we direct them to. This allows for really neat automation. To do this, we're basically going to repeat what we did a while ago, but instead of manually inputting our values in the equation, we're going to replace them with the cells that contain the values. In a way, we're adding them in like variables in your high school algebra class. We type in equals, and for the first value, we can select the cell, or manually type it in. We add our operator, then we reference the other cell that contains the other value. Hit enter, and there you go. The beauty of this approach is that you don't need to keep updating this formula every time a value changes. All you need to do is change the values in the cell you referenced. This is a great starting point in your road to Excel greatness because a lot of the functions would rely on your cell references. The last way we're going to be tackling is using the sum function. The sum function lets you input numbers or cells and it adds them so you get, well, the sum. Why would we use something that adds to subtract? Well, when we add negative numbers to positive ones, we're essentially subtracting from them. So in this example, let's say this is our budget. All of the expenses that we want to list down and take away from it, we can list down at the bottom. We create the sum function by typing in equals sum then hit tab to get that parentheses. We can then click and drag down the values we want to include. After that, we can hit enter and what we get is the remainder from the whole. What we essentially did was subtract all these negative values out from the base budget. There you have it. Three different ways on how we can subtract values in Excel. If you guys want to see more beginner Excel content, please let us know by saying so in the comment section down below, or you guys can check out our blog post which I'll also be linking down below. 
Make sure you guys are subscribed to Simple Sheets for more Excel content and I'll see you guys on the next one.